All right, first thing on the agenda. I'm gonna get this uh, fixed up where I don't have to deal with all this. Uh, I may put a piece there, a piece there. So we got a nice, good step. And I'm gonna pull up all this carpet tacking, clean this, sweep this off real good, and uh, start working on the railing. Uh, the only thing that sucks is the floor joists are running the same way I'm going to have to have the railings so I'm going to have to find the uh, spacer boards in the middle well there ain't going to be any there so I'll figure it out I got some landscape timbers that I built the bed out of and they're going to make a fine railing I'll go back and get a few more probably and I just noticed I got plenty of slack in this electrical line to get all this stuff tucked away nice and uh, I'm gonna get busy getting a late start. It's about 10:30, but we'll get some. We'll get something done. Ended up bringing a lot of stuff <laughs> up back up here that I I took down, like stuff that was in the fifth wheel. But uh, I'll just shuffle it from side to side wherever I'm working. So right now, that today's focus is getting getting the stairs complete up here, making that safe, and hopefully getting a railing across here. And across here and maybe start on the railing temporary railing for the stairs uh, I don't see anything I don't see nothing going real hard or nothing but you never know and there this this may I need to re, may need to replace this whole sheet of plywood but I don't think so we'll see all right I'll be back all right I've got all the carpet tack pulled up I've repaired the floor here this will be covered but uh I had pulled this up. I was—I don't remember what I was doing, but I pulled it up, and uh, it's all back down. Got that top step all fixed. Uh, I'm gonna run a channel for this electric, so I got that notched in there. Oh, what a mess! So we're gonna get these rails up today, at least this one and this short one here. I should be able to get it all done. That little gaps and all that there, I'm using the pieces of plywood that I, I built the landings out of, and they're not gonna fit perfect, but with the, probably gonna do carpet up here with the pad and all that. I'll fill in these little gaps. It won't it won't matter. But important thing is it's, it's level, so. But uh, this is real good and sturdy all the way up to here. Uh, when I'm done with the finished product, it'll look good. I'm hoping I've got enough wire out in the shed. I got a bunch of this. Because let me tell you, wire has more than quadrupled in price. They wanted $179 for 50 feet of 12-2 wire. And that's absolutely crazy. That's that yellow wire. Let me hone in up there on my junction box. That was normally, I think, 60, 50, 60 bucks for a 50-foot roll. It was a buck a foot. Not no more. Another one of the, everything's risen. So I'm going to run my rails, I'm going to get two by fours, I'm going to go out and cut that cedar, see what that looks like. Uh, if not, I'm going to just use the two by fours with my uh, cedar, or yeah, my cedar landscape timber on top. It'll look good. I can always change that anytime I want. So I just want something up there. I'll paint it, make it look nice. I'll stain the cedar railing on top, and then I'll get some uh, railings on these steps. All right, guys, I'll be back. All right, I got the framing up for the first rail. That was a butt kicker. A lot of hands and knees work. And that loft is so unlevel. That's because <laughs> when I gutted it, a lot of it sagged. But it ain't going to sag anymore because there's beams everywhere. Let's go up. But it's level. And that's going to be covered with cedar slats. I ain't doing no PVC or wire. Everything's going to match. That's how far out it was. There's actually a 2x4 under that end. And it is perfectly level now. So, I'm going to cover that with cedar slats. I don't care if i got to use a ladder. Anything gets beats hauling that up and down. And then, uh, <laughs> you know, the lumber, the 2x4s are the worst I've ever seen in the store. Even the guys that work there say they've never seen them so bad. So, I wanted this one eight foot long. Well, I bought eight foot long two by fours. No, 
They were seven foot long, four inches, not even close to eight foot. So you're paying more for this crap and you're getting terrible quality wood. I mean, it's got, this is one of the better ones, you know, checking all through it and it's just terrible. But uh, uh, this thing gonna be strong once this end's connected, you know. I don't wanna use no pipe or anything like that, you know. I can just see me falling against something like that. It would shatter. So I want it to be solid. Do it my way. My way. But I do appreciate suggestions, folks. But, you know, I'm stubborn. I'm going to do it the way I want. So anyway, i got to straighten a few of these up. They're a little crooked. But we'll get busy. i got to go feed the dogs and maybe get this rail built. That's probably as far as I'm going to get. All right. Well, I tuckered out. I got some cleanup to do outside before it gets any worse, but that's that's all I'm going to get up there today. And then I'll get that little short rail up tomorrow and probably, I'll probably get it finished tomorrow because I didn't get started till late today. So, luckily there was a stud there where the 30 degree angle goes up. And, but you got to have the screws right on the edge of the 2x4, but it, I'll get some more in there and that'll hold up pretty good. Then I'll just get a ladder and then I'm going to put some slats across this way. I might do a little fancy pattern in the middle. I don't know. But I got plenty of cedar so I might as well use it. And I may change this up down there. Uh, so it matches a little better. I did crack that board when I was taking it apart. So we may just take all that back off and uh, do something that will match up a little better. Because I really don't know what I'm doing yet. But, uh, man, that just, you know, four, like I say, four or five hours, I'm about done. And But going up and down these steps, I carried that whole thing up. I built it outside. And I had to adjust some things and take it back up a few times. That'll whoop your butt, man. Oh, but we'll get her finished. You'll see this project. I'm hoping this whole loft is uh, ready to move stuff up by the end of the week. That's my goal. I don't, unless something else comes up, you never know. Uh, like to be able to get some electrical run and get some lighting up there. I don't think I'll be able to afford a fan right now, but I'll I may get you know I'll at least get the four about four outlets run on the, each side of the wall. And uh, oh, let's go up here a second. I knew this part would be a problem because what happened is there was a pantry down there in the kitchen. I should have told you while I was down there. And I pulled it out because it, it had no use. It, it was terrible. And I pulled it out and part of this here sagged down because it was a kind of a supporting wall. But later on I came back. See here I've got beams all the way. There's three beams on this wall good solid ones they're not going anywhere uh, but it it kind of got this out of whack a little bit so if you see down there look at the difference so we'll get that fixed you won't notice anything and uh, but I'm gonna end it here guys and we'll get all this stuff I got fixed the door yet we'll get that done too that's a good door on there. I'm still going to use that. I wish that screen door was on the front front of the house. I, I, I may move it to that. But it kind of, it would be nice up here too. And uh, then I'll patch these up or something. I may run some cedar boards, square them off a little bit. I don't know. All right, guys, happy trails. And hopefully I'll get some more for you tomorrow. The more than I did today because it <laughs> well, didn't get much done today. I didn't figure I would. But I got that part built, and that's that's good. The rest of it ought to go pretty easy. All right, man. Happy trail. What do you think, Waddles? Your tail sure grew out long. You didn't look like a North Korean soldier. Marching. What are you 
girls doing in there? Look at them. There they are. There's Thelma Lou and the other two. That's their name, the other two. Was, uh, I can tell Thelma Lou. She's real speckledy. And Waddles, yeah, you can tell him. Alright guys, quit hogging the, quit hogging the video.